Hello, and welcome to Reading Through the Bible in a Year. I'm Eric. And I'm Linda. And this is day what? This is day 298. 298. 298. Yes. And we're reading in Jeremiah chapter 6, 7, 8. And? We are also reading the New Testament in 1 Timothy chapter 5. All right. Who did, who did last night first? I prayed. You did you because were. I was away. And I read. Okay. Okay, I'll pray then. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for this day, for the health and strength you give us. We thank you that you've given us the opportunity to come before you with prayer requests and for needs that we have as well as for other people. And you know the people we've been praying for and we lift them to you tonight. And also, Lord, for anyone who joins in, if they have anything, any need that they have need of, I pray that they would call upon you and seek you for what that, that which is what they need. We thank you for the reading of your word and pray it be a blessing to our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I guess I'd better get started. Then. Chapter 6. Flee for safety, O sons of Benjamin, from the midst of Jerusalem. Now blow a trumpet in Te Tekoa and raise a signal over Beth. Hecarim, for evil looks down from the north, and a great destruction. The comely and dainty one, the daughter of Zion, I will cut off. Shepherds and their flocks will come to her. They will pitch their tents around her. They will pasture each in his place. Prepare war against her. Arise and let us attack at noon. Woe to us for the day declines. For the shadows of the evening lengthen. Rise and let us attack by night and destroy her palaces. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Cut down her trees and cast up a siege against Jerusalem. This is a city to be punished, in whose midst there is only oppression. As a well keeps its water fresh, so she keeps fresh her wickedness. Violence and destruction are heard in her. Sickness and wounds are ever before me. Be warned, O Jerusalem, lest I be alienated from you, lest I make you a desolation, a land not inhabited. Verse 9. Verse 9. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall thoroughly glean as a vine, the remnant of Israel, as a grape gathers, what your hand, put your hand back, into the branches, to whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear, indeed, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot give heed. Behold, the word of the Lord is a reproach to them. They have no delight in it. Therefore I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary of holding it in. I will pour it out on the children outside, and on the assembly of young men together. For even the husband shall be taken with the wife, the age with him who is full of days and their houses shall be turned over to others, fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord, because from the <clears throat> least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. They have also healed the hurt of my people slightly. They have also healed the hurt of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace when there is no peace where they assemble when they had committed their abominations no they were not at all ashamed nor did they know how to blush therefore they shall fall among those who fall at the time i punish them they shall be cast down says the lord thus saith the lord it sounds like the world we live in today where <coughs> covetousness is rampant everybody gets a magazine or a flyer they want to run out by it and buy it right away Someone comes with a new toy or a new car or a new recreational vehicle. Everybody has to have it. Stand by the ways and mm -hmm. see and ask for the ancient paths, where the good way is, and walk in it, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk in it. And I set watchmen over you, saying, Listen to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not listen. Therefore hear, O nation, O nations, and know, O congregation, what is amongst them. Hear, O earth, behold, I am bringing disaster on this people, 
the fruit of their plans, because they have not listened to my words, mm -hmm. and as for my law, they have rejected it also. For what purpose does frankincense come to me from Shaba, and the sweet cane from a distant land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, and your sacrifices are not pleasing to me. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am laying stumbling blocks before this people, and they will stumble against them. Fathers and sons together, neighbor and friend, will perish. Verse 22. Verse 22. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people come from the north country, and a great nation will be raised from the farthest parts of the earth, and they will lay hold on bow and spear, and they are cruel and have no mercy. Their, voice roar, their voices roar like the sea, and they ride on horses, as men of war set in array against you, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the report of it. Our hands grow feeble. Anguish has taken hold of us. Pain as of a woman in labor. Do not go down into the field, nor walk by the way, because of the sword of the enemy. Fear is on every side, O daughter of my people. Dress in sackcloth, and roll about in ashes. Make mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the plunder will suddenly come upon us. Verse 27. I have made you an, what's this word, a sayer and a tester among my people, that you may know and assay their way. All, I, all of them are stubbornly rebellious. Go about as a talebearer. They are bronze and iron. They, all of them, are corrupt. The bellows blow fiercely. The lead is consumed by the fire. In vain the refining goes on, but the wicked are not separated. They call them rejected silver because the Lord is rejecting them. Or has rejected them, pardon me. Chapter 7. Yep. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand up in the gate of the Lord's house, and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you, Judah, who enter at these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in the place, in this place. Do not trust in these lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, and if you um, thoroughly ex execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, and if you do not oppress the stranger and the fatherless and the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, or walk after other gods in your heart, then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I have given your forefathers forever. Verse 8. Behold, you are trusting in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and offer sacrifices to Baal, and walk after other gods that you have not known? Then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered, that you may do all these abominations? Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your sight? Behold, I, even I, have seen it, declares the Lord. But go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, where I made my name dwell at the first, and see, that I, and see what I do to it, because of the wickedness of my people Israel. And now... Because you have done all these things, declares the Lord, and I spoke to you, rising up early and speaking, but you did not hear, and I called you, but you did not answer. Therefore I will do to the house which is called by my name, in which thou trust, and to the place which I gave you and your fathers, as I did to Shiloh, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brothers, all the offspring of Ephraim. As for you... Do not pray for this people, and do not lift up do not lift up cry or prayer for them, and do not intercede with me, for I do not hear you. Do you not see what they are doing in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead dough to make cakes for the queen of Cambridge. 
heaven, and they pour out libations to other gods this in order to, God to spite me. Do they spite me, declares the Lord? Is it not themselves they spite to their own shame? Verse 20. Therefore thus saith the Lord, God, behold, my anger and my fury will be poured out on this place, on man and on beast, and on the trees of the field and on the fruit of the ground, and it will burn and not be quenched. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat me. For I did not speak to your fathers or command them in the day that I brought them out of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices, but this is what I command them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ears, but followed the counsel and the dictates of their own evil hearts, and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt until this, I have even sent to you all my servants, the prophets, daily raising up early and sending them. Yet they did not obey me, or incline their ears, but stiffened their neck. They did, they did worse than their fathers. Therefore you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not obey you. You shall also call to them, but they will not answer you. Verse 28. And you shall say to them, This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God, or accept correction. Truth has perished and has been cut off from their mouth. Cut off your hair and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on the bare heights, for the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the sons of Judah have done that which is evil in my sight, declares the Lord. They have set their detestable things to the house which is called by my name to defile it. And they have built the high places of Tephoth, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters on the fire, which I did not command, and it did not come into my mind. Therefore, behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will no more be called Tephoth, or the valley of the son of Haman, but the valley of the slaughter. For they shall bury in Tophath, because there is no other place. And the dead bodies of this people will be food for the birds of the sky, and for the beasts of the earth, and no one will frighten them away. Then I will make the case from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land will become a ruin. Chapter 8. At that time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of the princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Out of the graves they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the hosts of heaven, which they have loved and which they have served, after which they have walked which they have sought and which they have worshipped. And they shall not be gathered nor buried. They shall be like refuse on the face of the earth. And then death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residents of those who remain in this evil family, who remain in all the places where I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. Moreover, you shall say to them, Thus saith the Lord, Will they fall and not rise? And will they turn away and not return? Why has this people slidden back? Jerusalem in a perpetual black, is a perpetual backslider. Backsliding. They hold fast to deceit and they refuse to return. I listened and heard, but they did not speak aright. No man repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his own course as the horse rushes into the battle. Sad, eh? Sad. I mean, I'd hate to be someone living in Jerusalem because there's a lot of things about Jerusalem that are not good. Even the stork in the sky knows her seasons, and the turtle dove and the swift and the thrust observe the time of their migration. But my people do not know the ordinance of the Lord. How can you say, we are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? But behold, the lying pen of the scribe, he made it into a lie. The wise men are put to shame.
They are dismayed and caught. Behold, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and that, and what kind of wisdom do they have? Therefore, I will give their wives to others, the fields to new owners, because from the least even to the greatest, everyone is greedy for gain, from the prophet even to the priest. Everyone practices deceit, and they heal the brokenness of the daughter of my people superficially, saying, Peace, peace, but there is no peace. Were they, were they ashamed because of the abomination they had done? They certainly were not ashamed, and they did not know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among those who fall. At the time of their punishment they shall be brought down declares the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. No grapes shall be on the vine, nor figs in the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still, assembling yourselves, and let us enter the fortified cities? Let us be silent there, for the Lord our God has put us to silence, and given us water to, of gall to drink, because we have sinned against the Lord. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of help, and there was trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones, for they had come and devoured the land, all of it is in it, and the city and those who dwell in it. For behold, I will send serpents among you, vipers which cannot be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord. I would comfort myself in soul. My heart is faint in me. Listen to the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people, far from a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not the her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their carved images with foreign idols? Verse 20. Harvest, harvest is past, summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the brokenness of the daughter of my people, I am broken. I mourn. Dismay has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has not the health of the daughter of my people been restored? And that's the end of the reading of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Now the New Testament, First Timothy chapter 5. Do not rebuke an older man, but exhort him as a father, younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, younger women as sisters, with all propriety. Honor widows who are really widows, but in, if any widow has children or grandchildren, let them first learn to show piety at home and to repay their parents, for this is good and acceptable before God. Now she who is really a widow and left alone, trust in God, and continue in supplication and prayer night and day. But she who lives in pleasure is dead while she lives. And these things command that they may be blameless. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those in his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Verse 9. Let a widow be put on the list only if she is not less than 60 years old having been the wife of one man, having a reputation for good works, and if she has brought up children, if she has shown hospitality to strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she assisted those in distress, and if she has devoted herself to every good work, but refused to put younger widows on the list, for when they feel sensual desires in disregard to of Christ, they want to get married. Thus, in curing condemnation because they have set aside their previous pledge and at the same time they also learn to be idle as they go around from house to house and not merely idle but also gossips and busy bodies, bodies talking about things not proper to mention therefore i want younger widows to get married bear children keep house and give the enemy no occasion for reproach for some have already turned aside to follow satan if any woman who is a believer has dependent widows, let her assist them, and let not the church be bare burdened, so that it may assist those who are widows indeed. Chapter, uh, verse 17. Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in the word and the doctrine. 
For the scripture says, He shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain, and the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except for two or three witnesses. Those who are sinning rebuke in the presence of all, that the rest may also fear. I charge you before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, that the elect angels that you observe these things without prejudice, doing nothing with partiality. Do not lay hands on anyone hastily, nor share in other people's sins. Keep yourself pure. No longer drink only water, but use a little wine for your stomach sake and for your frequent infirmities. Some men's sins are clearly evident, proceeding them to judgment, but those of some men follow later. Likewise, the good works of some are clearly evident, and those that are otherwise cannot be hidden. And that's the end of today's reading. These are long readings from Jeremiah. Yeah. Really long. yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got to go. We're over time again, so mm -hmm. we'll see if it takes it. Bye for now. God bless.